LA Coastal Basin, 76 degrees on Wednesday, a little cloudy as well. By Friday, though, it's nothing but sunny skies and temperatures in the low 80s, which will put you just a tiny bit above average. And let's look at the extended forecast, guys. I'll send it back to you. As the Russian war on Ukraine rages on, a new exhibition at the Nixon Library provides more context about the politics of Russia and the former Soviet Union. Gail Anderson shows us the Cold War Soviets, spies, and secrets. I find this exhibition fascinating. Here you see part of the entrance to this new exhibition, Cold War, Soviets, Spies, and Secrets. Among the many artifacts and uh, video you'll see here is this one. Uh, sure, kids are learning about this in school, the Berlin Wall, the whole crisis that occurred there during the uh, Cold War, how awful and striking it was. People trying to escape. Joe Lopez is here from the uh, Nixon Library. It was an awful time for people who didn't live it. Absolutely, but it's so relevant today with what's happening in the world. And a key element of the Cold War was the arms race. And for the United States, we had the nuclear triad, the ability to launch by air, by land, and by sea. And here at the Nixon Library, we've recreated a submarine launch. Look at so this. This you, is unbelievable. You take this side, Gail. Okay, because you need two people to launch this? That's right. You need two people to launch it. So it's two keys. So there would be no mistake if they had to actually do this. That's right. And okay. th this is something guests can do. It's an interactive okay. part of the All exhibit. Right. All right, let me schlep over here. Okay, okay. so All one, right. two, three, turn. And that sets the countdown. Well, look, it's counting it down. Okay. okay. But this was arguably the most important part of the triad because it was the sneakiest. It was hard to detect where the submarines were. Were there a lot of them? Oh, yeah, there were. And, you know, talk about nuclear war. Together, the United States and the Soviet Union amassed over 60,000 nuclear weapons during the Cold War. Gosh. What do you want people to understand about this? When you say Cold War and Soviet spies and secrets, they're thinking, oh, that was something that happened a long time ago. But this it's only been 50 years. That's right. And the players are back on the world stage. Russia's in the news now every day. So it's important to learn about the history between the relationship between our two countries because this was such an important part for 50 years. And President Nixon was most involved in this Cold War as well as other presidents. Absolutely. Nixon, Reagan, Eisenhower, Truman. I mean, Bush, it, it really spanned 50 years. And it took several presidents to end that Cold War. When Joe told me about this, I said, yeah, okay, Joe, right. But there it is. And it's not just a bomb. It's a nuclear bomb. Is that right? That's right. This is a decommissioned B-57 nuclear bomb. And it's safe. It's here on display and on loan from the National Nuclear Museum. But this bomb is uh, 10 feet long, would have weighed 500 pounds. And there were over 3,000 that were produced by the United States military. Just this one 10-foot bomb would could take out a city. I mean, it's amazing to think that this is the threat that Americans were living under for 50 years during the Cold War. The Cold War, the political rivalry between the United States and the Soviet Union. In your Belinda, Gail Anderson, KTLA 5 News. With us from